Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity 12 o'clock location. We have Sabbath starting as the white Terran, bottom left hand corner. We have I Love XTO starting as the yellow Terran. This, uh, is this Neosilphid? I believe this is Neosilphid. Yeah, this is Neosilphid. Neosilphid and Longinus look close enough where sometimes I mix them up. Should always check beforehand, but regardless. Game one, Sabbath. Not pl I'm wondering if that was tournament nerves or what, but not playing up to capacity. XTO looking decently sharp. He was behind some workers. I'm not sure if that was just because of build order or because of... Uh, it's potentially because of build order decisions. Cutting SCV to go ahead and get more vultures out or something along those lines. But really, Sabbath losing a lot of troops for free. I do want to follow up and say I like XTO's playstyle overall as well. Especially previous seasons where he managed to, I think it was moving into the round, was it moving round of eight or moving to the round of four? Where he was sneaking command centers, doing something that typically Protoss do with the sneaky command center out on the map. Which I thought was absolutely brilliant. I should mark that game. Someone make a comment if you want to see that game in the YouTube comments and I will paste a link to that match from last season. It was a fun match. And I think he did that a couple times, so I'll see if I can find the first time he did it. Anyway, I feel like I'm on, I've got weird rants going on today. There's debates in Twitch chat as to, like, how do they keep the Marines motivated? Like, previous game we saw the Marine just walking out to go ahead and do mine clearing. It's like, how do you, how, what do you have to do to get a Marine to do that? My theory is stim addiction. And I think that is the most cruel thing, actually, in TV. And here's the other trick of it, is, like, stim addiction versus Zerg... It's like the most effect. So maybe that's why they get like so ramped up to kill Zerg. Because they're like, yeah, I get my stim fixed more often than not. But versus Protoss, it's like a tease, right? It's like, yeah, you'll get your stim fixed maybe. And nobody ever builds an academy. So it's just like, ugh, gotta be brutal. Anyway, interesting placement for the barracks from XTO. It almost looks like he's trying to hide it. So I think he's hoping to get early scouted, potentially, and maybe have this just not get spotted by Sabbath and throw him off in that regard. We'll see how this plays out. XTO is scouting bottom right-hand corner first. This is a three-player, I believe it is isometric map. Meaning if you rotate it like in thirds on a three, it's like the same across the board. Barracks initially being lifted off. That's going to delay that first Marine being produced briefly, but XTO looks like he... So he is building the factory into the corner too. I think he's just hoping to maybe force a little bit of nerves from Sabbath. Throw him off a little bit. Yeah, because he's not even producing this initial marine. So let's let's go to Sabbath's point of view here. So he wanders in, he sees no barracks. He does catch edge of the factory. But wandering out otherwise, yeah, he doesn't see the barracks location. So what this might be. What this could be in his brain is, oh, am I going up against a proxy? And he might think that, because you see the SCV, rather than continuing to scout, was attacking the factory briefly. And let's see if he over-responds here. He's got this first vulture being produced. He's got two Marines on the front. He still lifted off this barracks to, to forward scout. But that Marine's going to swing back out from XTO and go ahead. So it doesn't look like that. So interesting thought. But doesn't look like it resulted into anything genuine. Except this from Sabbath. He's going to the 6 o'clock location. Are you kidding me? This is going to be double proxy game. So Sabbath going Wraith at the 6 o'clock location. He's got a Vulture and two Marines blockading his front door. But XTO building a factory at the 3 o'clock location. So it's going to be a two factory build with Vultures from XTO at proxy. XTO is going to be a little bit faster in getting this out. But two Wraith being produced. And this is unfortunate, I think, for Sabbath. Because the Wraith are just going to take longer. As if he's pulling off the line. Able to kill that. And Sabbath pulling out of position. Which is unfortunate. Because now he's going to be outnumbered. The SCVs with that group repair. Being the difference here. Nice micro by Sabbath. I don't think he realizes his situation yet. By a long shot. But I don't know. This could pay off the... First two vultures potentially going to be built. I don't see an engineering bay or any anti-air currently. But the vultures at forward location pushing in to Sabbath's base. 
And I think the Vultures just might be able to do more damage more rapidly. The Volt, the Wraith, currently inside XTO's base. All the SCVs pulling off the line from Sabbath. Sabbath at zero minerals, so he's got to win it with those two Wraith alone, it looks like. XTO still mining behind this. Maybe a little bit of an overcommit. Well, maybe not, because this is four Vultures here. And it looks like XTO's cheese is just going to be a little bit stronger as the Wraith just... Here's the thing, Wraith don't do a lot of damage to grounds. They do just that eight damage at a time. It takes a long time even to kill a Marine. Where XTO's Vultures, rapid fire, 20, 20 damage. So XTO, with his cheese, going to beat the counter cheese from Sabbath, it looks like. And this has got to be a frustrating one. Marine boxed into that corner. Sabbath still trying to fight it out and injuring uh, an armory being halted. So that's four Wraith out. So four Wraith to try to win the game here. Somewhat of a base race situation. Engineering Bay being built in Sabbath's base. Command Center being lifted off. So theoretically, with a lifted off Command Center, Sabbath could win this. Depending. Marine getting wiped out. But yeah, this is going to take some work. XTO still has a lot of minerals to work with. The Marine looks like it's going to get wiped out there. Turret desperately trying to get built in the main. Sabbath's got to... I mean, it's possible, but wow, this is going to be tough. So Marine's wiped out. Turret's taken out. He still needs to keep on patrol just to keep these SCVs from mining. And doing what else? He can just hide his command center someplace. And it's just going to be a long time before XTO's just going to have any air. It looks like XTO going to try to distance mine. Currently. SCV's blockading the 6 o'clock location. Actually, I want to see if Sabbath even lands that... Maybe if he floats that command center out and lands it someplace, maybe he can sneak a couple of minerals. It looks like XTO continuing to sneak minerals with the SCVs as they're under fire. Did one of these Wraith get taken out? It looks like one of the Wraith got taken out, potentially by Marine Fire. Somewhere in between. So the Vultures have cleared out everything. The factory's still floating, the command center's still floating, and you have these two... Starport's tier to the south. The SCVs getting wiped out steadily. So XTO needs to find a way. So it, fleeing with his minerals, he needs to find a way to get a turret up someplace. Something to deal with these Wraith. And actually group preparing around a turret might be the trick. The Wraith working out. Looks like the command center was landed here. So that's going to start taking damage. So that's been scouted. A single Goliath got out. So now, there's the fourth Wraith. So the four Wraith need to engage that Goliath and take it out before the turret gets up. SCV taken out. Three Wraith now. Does XTO have any SCV left? I don't know that he has any SCV left. Command Center building another SCV. Two Goliaths somehow sneaking out. That is a superior attack force. And is that turret going to finish? The Wraith trying to press in. Able to take out that SCV, but it costs two of the Wraith remaining. Oh. And the engineering bay being floated over that turret so it can't be target fired. If this goes up, and it looks like it is going to go up, that is going to be game victory. Finishes, and that is going to be GG. Nice attempt there at the end by Sabbath, but it looks like XTO's cheese just being a little bit more effective at the end. Still a tight and exciting one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.